how we proceed to get in. We lay down like this. There was much more to this than a proud demonstration of the twins' ability to cope with their condition. This is our bathroom back here. And now I'd like to show you how we respect each other's privacy when getting a shower. We don't always get a shower at the same time, in fact, hardly ever. So while one's taking a shower, the other one takes a shower curtain and pulls it through, like so. Laurie and Reba were determined to show that they were two different people, capable of respecting each other's privacy and of living different lives. So this is Reba's room. This is where she does the practicing of her music for her shows that she does. And this is where she likes to come to get away from it all and just have peace and quiet. You talk of this as Reba's private place. And Laurie, that means that you cease to exist when she's practicing in this, this room. This is right. This is her room. I'm here in body, but that is it. This is her place. Yes, I treat back here like I'm in a concert. And yes, she cannot interrupt me or talk to me while I'm out performing. Just because we cannot get up and walk away from each other doesn't mean we cannot have solitude from other people or ourselves. People who are conjoined can have a very private life. If you love the person you're with and you respect them, you're going to give them the privacy and compromising situations that you would want them to give you. It, it's the whole thing, compromise, and that you don't get everything you want right when you want it, and two individuals can live with that. And if two individuals can live with that, then two separate individuals can live with that too. You believe you're an example to others? I don't say that. I mean, I think we are two human beings. We were brought into the world connected at one area of the body. We are not, to me, I'm nothing special. This is not the whole life of Reba and I. This is not our life. This is a condition that happened through birth. And people have to learn to understand that. When they see this, all they see is this. There is much more to Reba and I than this. Get past this already, everybody. Get past it and learn to know the individual person. I'm interested in the word individual. Even your hair is a different color and a different style. That's an important statement, isn't it? That's part of our individuality. Do you ever feel angry, either of you? Do you ever think to yourselves, why wasn't I born a separate individual? No, never. Our parents instilled in us from the day we were old enough to know better and to understand what they were saying, that God did this for a purpose. This is a harsh question, but we must ask it. That's fine. If one of you died, would that automatically mean the death of the other? No, it would not. That's another misconception. If it's caught early enough, the one we could both be rushed to the hospital and then, in an emergency, quickly be separated to save the one. We're different than some conjoined twins. There are conjoined twins that are connected at major organs. They are literally connected. They share the heart or they share the brain. We are two totally separate individuals. There is nothing, no brain, just blood is connected. And blood vessels can be stopped long enough to separate. If you had been born 30 years later, would you have been separated? Would we be separated? Absolutely not. My theory is, why fix what is not broken? You once said to me, Laurie, that you have many dreams and you are somebody that could easily get married and have children. Yes, eventually I would love to have myself a family. A husband and children to <laughs> of mine. Reba, would you be able to share that intimacy? That intimacy of her? And her husband. Well, he would be like a brother-in-law to me. That is it. They can do whatever they do, and I'll act like I'm not even there. I would block out. I have shared intimacy before. I mean, I'm not... I wouldn't even want to put that on TV. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> Excuse me.